Welcome options traders. I wanted to post a quick video here, especially for the new traders in the group, because most people, when they start out with options, they learn the covered call strategy. And it makes sense because they probably started out as stock traders, they've got shares in their account, and they want to start out by selling options. And when they do that, they lean towards selling out of the money options, which is fine because they say, I'd prefer to hold on to my shares. I really don't want to sell them, but I want to explore this idea of selling options. The problem is, is that when they read books and websites about options, they'll see the time decay curve and they assume that all options decay according to that time decay curve. And that's simply not true. Whenever you see that time decay curve, it's for at the money options only. Options decay at very different rates when you're talking about out of the money and in the money. So for instance, time decay. Yes, we all know that option values decay over time, but they decay at different rates depending on whether you're talking about in the money, at the money, or out of the money. So this is really the key point I want you to get from this video. Yes, all options decay, but the rate at which they decay depends on what's called their moneyness, how far in or out of the money they are. So to make the point, let's compare a $100 call, which is going to be our at the money. So the stock is $100, and we're going to compare it to a 115 strike, which is out of the money. So here's the first time decay graph. Now these are 30 day options. This is the at the money curve. And you can see it's priced at about $4 right here. And the option will start losing money, but at a fairly slow rate, at least relatively speaking. But when you get down into here, into this last portion, definitely within about the last week or so, it starts going off of a cliff. This curve right here, this blue curve, is the one that everybody sees in the option books. And they assume that all options follow this curve. And again, that's just not true. But because they believe that, when they're using their covered calls with out of the monies, they think they should hold on closer to expiration. Soak up all of that option premium before you close it and sell a new one. Well, let's take a look at how it decays. Again, this is a 30 day option. So after 15 days, most traders would think that the option loses half of its value. But you can see after 15 days, it's trading for about 280. So the options price has fallen from four to 280. It's only lost 30% of its value. If you want to know the point where it loses half of its value, you'd have to look out here when about 25% of the time remains. See if the option started up here at four, here it's trading for two, and over here is only when about 25% of the time remains. Yes, for at the money options, you're going to be better off waiting very close until expiration so that you can absorb all of this rapid rate of decay. But again, that's not true for out of the money. So let's take a look at the out of the money option or the 115 strike. Different look, isn't it? Remember the other one kind of curved outwards like this and then went off a cliff. This one's just the opposite. It actually starts out accelerating. And then as you get closer to expiration, you can see very clearly it starts to slow down. In fact, it's almost zero in these final five or six days down here. So again, if we make the mistake of assuming that all options decay according to that graph we just saw, this option right here, the 115 strike, is trading for about 68 cents. We would therefore assume it's going to fall from 68 cents to 48 cents and therefore lose 30%. But that's not true. Take a look at the reality. After 15 days, right there, it's actually trading for 18 cents. So the option has fallen from 68 cents down to 18 cents. It's lost 73% of its value. So if you continue holding from this point forward, think about it. You're holding on for the same amount of time, another 15 days, to absorb only another 27% of that value. You've already absorbed the bulk of that time decay. Mathematically, it makes far more sense to close this one down and sell a new one, and therefore you're going to end up with more money in the long run because you're not wasting all of this time to, relatively speaking, 
pick up these pennies. So remember, if you're selling out of the money options, and it's not just for covered calls, it could be any time, vertical spreads will be an exception because they expire on the same date. But if you're doing covered calls and diagonal spreads and other types of spread strategies, you need to be careful about holding the option too close to expiration. In most cases, you're going to be better off rolling to a longer dated option and therefore collecting more money in the long run. And better yet, you'll also end up with a larger downside hedge. For those who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.